Today we are going to show you how to integrate Ubuntu clients into the UCS domain. This process is very easy as most of it is done by the Univention Domain Join Assistant. We show you in this video how you install this assistant and thus connect an Ubuntu clients to the UCS domain. At the end of the process, users can log in directly to an Ubuntu desktop using their domain accounts. So far GNOME and Unity desktops are supported. To begin with, we should make some preparations at the server and configure UCS time servers, which UCS uses to retrieve time data. For future login, it is important that the system's clocks of the involved systems don't diverge significantly from each other. For this, it must be assured first of all that the UCS server uses an external time source, for example, a time server of the NTP pool projects. Now I will define three time servers. Normally one is enough, the other two serve as a backup. We do this under System, Univention Configuration Registry and search for the module Time Server. Here we find three time server variables. The first one, which is Time Server, we set to 0.de.pool.ntp.org. We save this and continue with the second. We select Edit and add here a 1.de.pool.ntp.org and into the third time server we write 2.de.pool.ntp.org and save this too. Afterwards we need to restart the NTP service so that the changes related to the time servers can become effective. Again, we select System Services from our System tab and search for the Service NTP. Here we've got our Service NTP, which we select. We then choose Restart and confirm this dialog. We've got to first install the Univention Domain Join Assistant. We do this very easily via three commands. The first one is sudo add minus apt minus repository ppa colon univention minus dev slash ppa. We hit enter, we give our password and hit enter again. And at the end, one more time enter. The Neo Ubuntu systems update the package sources right after the adding of the ppas, as it has already happened in my case. If not, just enter sudo apt update one more time. At the end, we enter the command sudo debian underscore frontend equals no interactive apt minus get install univention minus domain minus join and confirm this with y and the enter key. This takes a moment. After a short while, our Univention Domain Join Assistant has been installed. For the time being, we can close the terminal. From the menu, we now select the new icon for the Univention Domain Join Assistant. We confirm this through our password. Now, a small window pops up where we first give the IP address of the UCS server, at the end the password of our administrator of the UCS domain, and finally we select Join. The rest is done for us by the Univention Domain Join Assistant. This takes a moment and at the end comes the notification the domain join was successful, please reboot the system. This is what we are going to do now. Now, after we have rebooted our computer, we still see here our local user. But under not listed, we can also log in with the username of the UCS domain and of course with the passwords of the UCS users. Though, I'm going to show you as well how you can save the step to go via not listed and how everything looks even more professional in the end. But first, let us see whether this really works. And taking a look at our UCS system, we there find Chris, for example. 
I've just given him a password and will use this to try to log in to the Ubuntu client. Let us just do this now. I am entering Chris as the username and his password and at the end I select login. We see now the directory home slash Chris is being set up and after a short while we have here now our user Chris. And here we also see Christian Cooks as a user of the Ubuntu client. Now as a final addition, how do we get this prettier? We best first log in using the administrator account of the Ubuntu client, open a terminal and open the file user share gdm greeter.deconf defaults with a text editor of our choice. We enter our password and scroll a bit down to login manager options. Here we remove the comment of the bracketed org gnome login screen and remove as well the comment at disable user list equals true. Once we've done that, we save the file again. We now need to enter the command sudo dpackage-reconfigure gdm3. This takes a while and afterwards we can enter sudo etc slash init.d slash gdm3 space restart. After a short time our gdm, that is our GNOME Display Manager, has been rebooted which manages among other things the login screen. And also here you can enter your username, in this case for example Chris and then again the password. And this is it, we don't have a possibly ugly user list anymore. This was a tutorial how to integrate Ubuntu clients into your UCS domain. Further information, download possibilities and an online demo can be found at univention.com. For further UCS videos, subscribe to our channel or take a look at our playlist.